The Sci-Fi Channel loves to hunt them. Hogwarts was often filled with the spirits of witches and wizards who had died. I even just saw an article promoting Scotland as the most haunted country on the planet. Many people have ghost stories they love to eerily tell late at night around a campfire surrounded by spooky woods that just might contain something to scare you. Is that the kind of spirit or ghost that you confess in the creeds when you say, I believe in the Holy Spirit, or the older version, I believe in the Holy Ghost? In the Holy Gospel according to St. John, Jesus says, When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Spirit of Truth, the Holy Spirit, is the one who makes Jesus known to you. Writing in the large catechism, Martin Luther said, The work of redemption is done and accomplished. Christ has acquired and gained the treasure for us by his suffering and death, resurrection, and so on. But if the work remained concealed so that no one knew about it, then it would be useless and lost. So that this treasure might not stay buried, but received and rejoiced, God has caused the word to go forth and be proclaimed. In the word, he has the Holy Spirit bring this treasure home and make it our own. The Holy Spirit makes known to you who and what Jesus has done for you through the word and the sacraments and makes him yours. What Jesus did on earth nearly 2,000 years ago comes to you, is made known to you in the speaking, baptizing, absolving, feeding word because the Holy Spirit opens your dead ears to hear this life-giving, life-changing message in the here and now. Without the work of the Holy Spirit through the word and the sacraments, you would never know about Jesus. Because of the Holy Spirit, you do know and believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So this spirit is not a haunting, frightening spirit that disturbs your soul and seeks to scare you. You can't hunt him down because the Holy Spirit comes to you. Through the word and the sacraments, the Holy Spirit brings Jesus to you and creates faith in you to believe in him. He guides you into all truth, the truth that is Jesus. He takes what is Jesus, namely his work of redemption, of saving you, and declares it to you. The Holy Spirit points you to Jesus in the manger, on the cross, in the resurrection, the ascension, and is coming again to bring you to him forever. By the Holy Spirit, you believe. This is what he does for you, and why you then say, I believe in the Holy Spirit. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts, we have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university, with values.